Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another very exciting video. Ladies and gentlemen, today's a good day. Captain Sabusa just released today and I am playing this bad boy on the Nintendo Switch. Anyways, I just want to share my first impressions. I'll have a proper review up later. Off the bat, I have to say, this is the most enjoyable tutorial I've ever played through. The gameplay, it's really satisfying. Tackling in this game is a lot of fun. I love knocking over my opponents, and I especially love not being stopped for a yellow or red car. The developers of this game have given us a pretty handy dodging mechanic. I'm really enjoying the over-the-top exaggerated action. I'm gonna have to put some more time into this game to get good at it, because currently I'm stuck at one of the earlier levels, and um, it's a nightmare. I will say there is a degree of difficulty involved in this game. Early on in the first or second level, I was really enjoying myself. I had a big grin from ear to ear. The developers of this game have somehow found a way to incorporate the drama from the anime into this game's gameplay. Now, I do feel like there is some input lag because I swear to God, I'm pressing these buttons and sometimes they're just not responding. And I'm using both my pro controllers. So I believe something's up. However, I could also just chalk this up to the fact that I may not just be that good at this game. Let me know in the comment section below if you're having the same problem. Now I did manage to find the poor soul to verse me online. I kicked his butt. But I do have to say that playing this game online, it was a bit wonky on the Nintendo Switch. Early on in the game, I couldn't tackle my opponent. So I just assumed there was no tackling online. However, at some point in the game, he got me. And I was like, what? So then I threw every slide tackle I had at him. It worked once or twice. Not that it mattered. I kicked his butt in the most satisfying way. You know when your opponent just rage quits mid-game? That's what happened. This next problem is unique to me personally, but I'm getting quite fed up with all the subtitles. Um, I'm skipping all the cinematics. <laughs> and fact of the matter is I don't like subtitles on a good day. But I'm playing this level over and over again that I just cannot beat. And every time I restart it, there are three cutscenes throughout the game that are triggered. I would 100% skip these scenes if I could, and the thing that makes it most frustrating is that I have to read the subtitles every single time. Sure, I can choose not to read the subtitles, but what else am I gonna do in the past time? Another thing about this game is that you can choose your tactics. So that's a good thing that they've incorporated. I haven't found an option for formations just of yet. Maybe it's not in there, maybe it is. Let me know, I can't find it. I've played this game enough to know that you can go into penalty shootouts. They've kept the penalty shootout mechanics of this game very simple, so big tick there. This is a really good game, 100% check it out if you're a soccer fan. If you're into arcade soccer games and you're not so much of a soccer fan like me, 100% check out this game. It's a lot of fun. Now, I know this is the old days, but I do think this is the best soccer game on the Nintendo Switch. Let me know if you've checked out Captain Sabusa or Super Campeones, as it's known in the Spanish-speaking universe. Anyways, that's it from me. See ya!